All right, so now let's see about slabs. How I deal with the slabs. Okay, so um, take the slab tool here and let's set it up. Okay, so ch choose this slab here and uh, let's set thickness to 15. And now, um, now we choose the surface of our slab. Uh, I'm going to choose a Lino checkered and for the edge, um, okay, this is the edge texture. So for the edge texture, you need to make it as your wall, okay? And the bottom will be the ceiling. Okay, let's choose this here, ceiling tile, all right? So um, before drawing the um, slab, you have different geometry method. This is polygonal, this is rectangular. So we're going to use the a polygonal one and choose it, draw it. Uh, okay, draw it along our uh, drawing. Okay, backspace to uh, to correct if you've done mistake. For example, I've clicked here, but I want it to be here. There you are. Now it's closed. Then you cannot see it, but when you hold, press shift. And now it's, you see it's blue, all these blue uh, edges. All right. Okay, so now let's go to the ground. And maybe we can just copy this. Control C. And here, paste. Control V. Then when you've pasted, you need to click outside. Now select. And uh, now let's set um, our reference to the ground floor. There you are. Okay, I think it's it's okay now and just change the thickness We just change the thickness to something bigger like 75 There you are Okay, so now let's preview it in 3d you press f3 There you are you press O for uh, orbiting. This is what we've done so far. Okay. All right. So now um, let's draw our decoration and um, more editing. Okay. You can just click here. And now, for instance, we have our uh, let's go to the first story. Now we have um, our slab. And for instance, we need the hole here for the stair. So what we can do is you click. You see, there is a green line. There is this green line. And um, OK, look at your cursor. Now it's plus and it's change. It changes to this one and you click. Then here you choose subtract from a polygon. Maybe I just start from here. No, till here. Okay, directly like that. Now you can, I can change directly to this. My drawing method. Okay, so here may be good. Then I click. Now I have the hole. Okay, so I'm going to draw it to here. Now, this edge. Okay, do it like this and then now cut, cut it off. There is this little line left. It's because it was not... Um
Okay, now it's fine. Now we've got the hole in our slab. Let's see it in 3D. There you are. Okay, this is the hole we've built. And now um, we're going to draw. Uh, yeah, go at, go at the first floor and choose the first floor reference and take the wall tool you need to deselect the floor first then go here and now we're going to draw a wall which is not which is just 90 in height so choose not linked and insert 90 then hit ok and make sure this here is 40 okay so I'm gonna start drawing from here like that go in here and end up here right click hit ok and this here will be like uh, 40 in height something like 40 okay so let's draw it this way all the way to here there you are right click now done okay and here this will be for the garden There you are, so, and here too, there is uh, that one of uh, 90, so just pick up the height of this and now draw the wall here. Let's start from this part. There you are, going here, there, right click, hit OK. OK, so, um, now this is done. Let's come back. Let's go down here. And there is a little settings for the slab here. Okay, so now let's go to choose not first floor, but the ground floor. All right, so we need to cut. Um, yeah, okay. Let's do this. Okay, when you choose this, you are offsetting this edge, just this edge, like that. Okay, and now pick the parameters of this and draw another slab from here to here, like that. And now change the parameters. This is 70, blah, blah, blah. Let's uh, do this. Let's say 40. Okay, all right, so now we're going to make the stairs, this stair here. So we're gonna do, um, we're gonna draw a slab. Okay, just draw a lot of slabs, this here, and another one here. Sorry, come back. There is this slab there. And there is another one here. Make sure it's uh, until here. Okay. And um, yeah. Let's draw from here to something like here. All right. And uh, another one from here until here. Okay, now we need to fulfill this part here. So what I do is I'm going to create the new nodes like here. And this is for inserting new nodes. All right, so I'm just I'm going to add two nodes like this. And what I do is I just move this node to here and this one to here. This is still here. Okay, so I do the same 
to the next slab this year. All right, and another node. Insert another node like here. Okay, so we can directly drag that there. Drag this one here. Then drag this here. There you are. And now what we need to do is just need to, um, uh, what is it? Change the altitude so that we have it uh, like really like a steer. Okay, so this one will go down 15. Okay, so you can just keep the height. You can just keep the height. Just play with the altitude. Okay, so this will be minus 15. Hit OK. Okay, so you select this here and you just change the altitude into um, something like minus 30. Okay, and now uh, select this here. This will be minus 45. There you are. Select this here and this will be minus some um, 60. Minus 60. Okay, let's have a look in 3D. There you are. All right, that's nice. Okay, uh, now. All right, so we just need to draw a little wall here. Come back. And take a wall of uh, 12. Yes, this is great. And here will be something like uh, 75. And here is minus 75. Hit OK and now let's draw it. Something like that. A three. There you are. Okay. Then here you have uh, another one, two. Okay. And so, but just decrease it a little bit. Something like 30. All right, so let's draw it this way. Okay, there you are. And here, upstairs, okay, it's okay. All right, so that's all for this part. See you on the next part.